What's going on guys? This video is all about generating a custom LFO bounce and putting that wobble effect on your chords using the Codex Wavetable Synth. You can hear similar chords and music from guys like Don Diablo, Louis the Child, Chainsmokers, you know the sound. I'm gonna show you how to do this without side chaining or separate LFO plugins. We'll do it from scratch and I'll also leave a link for this preset in the description below. So let's dig right in, take the Codex back to full reset, now you can leave oscillator 1 as it is on the Enabot wavetable. Slide the crossfader over to oscillator 2. Open up the wavetable list. Now let's choose a more rounded sound. I'm going to go with number 7, the pulse width wavetable. Now select the lower 16th octave for a stacking effect. Now blend the oscillators together to thicken it up. Slide the crossfader to the middle at 0. Now let's turn on the unison. Now you hear right away, the unison creates that doubling effect, multiplying that signal. Definitely widens that out. All right, let's generate some more low end on the sub control. I'm going to bring it to about 50. You can adjust it to where it feels good for you. Now bring up the noise generator just a little bit. Get it to cut through a little more. Let's back it up a little bit. I'm at 27. Now on the ring modulator, we're going to create a nice additional layer. Let's go almost all the way up with it. I'm at about 94. But again, you can set it to wherever you like. We're at a good starting point, so let's jump right down to the LFOs in the Mod Matrix. Now this is really the heart of the synth and where you patch all your modulations. And this is where you can really bring your sound to life and where we'll create that wobble and LFO effect. We've got six mod options. And to the left, you've got four LFOs or low frequency oscillators. Two of them are free rate and two are time synced, so you can lock into your project's tempo. Now on each mod option, you have a source and a destination. The source here on mod one is listed as LFO one, and the destination is listed as oscillator one's wavetable. So when I turn up the mod, you're increasing the amount of modulation you're hitting the oscillator wavetable with. Just like that. And we can get our sound to wobble any speed we want by changing the LFO's rate. Like that. Now each LFO has six types, sine, saw down, saw up, triangle, pulse, and random. Now each of them breeds a different way. For this one, I'm going with the triangle LFO type. Now to sync the LFO time to your project's tempo, go down to the global section, double click on the source host button, and now codex is synced up to your session. Now we're gonna change the source on mod one from LFO one to LFO three, because LFO three is tempo based. Now when I trigger my chords, The LFO is in sync with my project tempo, no matter where I set the time on the LFO 3. Check it out. All right, let's do the same thing on oscillator 2's wavetable. On mod 2, select LFO 3 under the source, and leave the destination on oscillator 2's wavetable. Dial up the mod, and now LFO 3 is driving that bounce in sync with both of our oscillator wavetables. All right, let's put some more life into these chords by patching LFO 3 to the cutoff. Let's use mod 4. All you need to do to patch, again, choose LFO 3 as the source. Open up and scroll down to the VCF cutoff. Dial in the modulation, and your cutoff envelope or wobble is synced to the LFO time. Now you can change the wobble by adjusting the cutoff and the resonance. I'm going to leave the cutoff here at about 48. And I like the res here at 37. But again, you can set these wherever you want to take them. All right, let's dial up the FM knob here to add some more frequency modulation. All right, let's add a nice pitch envelope to our chords. Down here on mod number three, we have our source already set to envelope three and the destination set on global pitch. We're gonna dial in some modulation. Now head up to envelope three. And listen to what happens when I bring up the decay. All right, you hear how that speed changes depending on where I set the decay? Now I want the sound to rise instead of fall. So we're going to turn on and invert the phase like that. I'm going to leave my decay right here. Keep the pitch envelope sort of quick at about 340. All right, let's hear it with some drums.
All right, let's give it some more body. Under the effects section, let's dial in some distortion. All right, I like the way it feels here at 58. All right, let's dirty it up with some bit depth reduction on the crusher. Right here at 21 is good. A little chorus. I'm at about 27. Let's add a little verb. Let's take it to about 30. All right, let's brighten up a little bit with the EQ. A little more 5K. I'm at about 8. A little bit of 1500. Two and a half is good. All right, let's take out some mud at about 600. Minus two is good. All right, let's hear that back. All right, cool, but we can't have that LFO going the same tempo the whole time. Last thing I want to show you is how to add a little more life and rhythm to the chords. We can do this all inside Codex without opening separate tracks. You don't need another plugin or to sidechain or write automation. Well, unless you want to write automation. Now go over to Mod 5 on the Mod Matrix, change the source to the sequencer. Now change the destination, scroll down and select the LFO 3 rate. Next thing, sync up the sequencer to the LFO time. We're set to one quarter on LFO 3, so change the sequencer rate to one quarter. Let's dial the sequencer steps back from 16 to 8 steps. Now dial up just a little bit of mod. Now let's write in a couple rhythm mods in the sequencer. Now these numbers are going to shift the LFO tempo either up or down, depending on how we set them on the step sequencer. Now you can dial in any number from plus or minus 24 on any step to get as complex with the LFO effect as you want. The best thing about it is you can customize without stopping the music or the workflow. <laughs> There it is, a super easy way to enhance your chords with custom LFO bounce using the Codex Wavetable Synth. Now check out the link in the description below. I left you guys with the link to download this free preset. If there's a sound you're looking for, write it in the comments below. I'll show you guys how to create it in an upcoming video. Now make sure you hit that subscribe button for the latest video tips, tricks, and more from Waves Audio. And until next time, thank you for watching.